Welcome to Upgrade with Dave and Sonia. I'm Dave. Have you ever wondered if your battery system is big enough to power certain devices? Well, with this kilowatt meter, we can measure how much power a device uses. So let's do an experiment today. Measure how much power this unit uses and then see if our battery system is big enough. I'm set up right now. I got four cups of water in the coffee pot. We will hit the reset button. Twenty cents rate utility cost, and this will be the elapsed kilowatt hours used. Hit the start button, and let's see what we get. On the bottom of the coffee pot, we can see how much wattage Mr. Coffee says we're going to use on this coffee pot. So it says 650 watts. The model is a TF5. So we'll see based on the kilowatt meter how much power we actually use. So to run four cups through the coffee pot. It, it just turned to seven, but it was six minutes elapsed time. And we used 0 0.06 kilowatts. So that's 60 watt hours. That's a very little amount of power. And then whether we use this to make coffee or hot water for showers, you could run this a couple times, mix it in a five gallon bucket, and then you could take a shower with this. You could use this for dishes. But if this was at your house, it used one cent, one penny. Our rate is 20 cents per kilowatt. So we would have used one cent to make four cups of water. So to wrap things up, this is a smaller coffee pot. It's a four cup coffee pot. It uses 650 watts while it's running. So if you're worried about battery capacity, just make sure you turn off the switch after you're done brewing your coffee. If you have a larger coffee pot, check the label on the back, see how much it draws, get one of these kilowatt meters, see how much power you're using. I will put a link to the kilowatt meter in the coffee pot below in the description. So if you like videos like this, please subscribe to our channel. Click on the bell to be notified of upcoming videos. Hit the like button and leave a comment if you'd like. Have a good day.